Welcome back with ton more jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13 to 13.5.1. Now I'm gonna go to the first one here. It is sort emoji. It's gonna combine shortcut key and emoji together into your keyboard. So you can see here, I can go to settings. And if you have non iPhone 8 device, you can select on predictive bar. It's gonna show on the top of your keyboard. But if you have the iPhone 8 and the new one, you can use bottom bar here. It's gonna show the shortcut and emoji at the bottom of your keyboard. So I'm gonna go back to my keyboard. You can take a look here. I have emoji plus shortcut key here where I can try to go to different emoji from here. And also I can um, scroll across the different shortcut as well. And you can select your custom emoji from settings. You can go to show custom emoji and then you can add your custom emoji or you can just show recent emoji that you have just using it. And then you can also manage your shortcuts where you can enable some more shortcuts from here. Just drag this to the top. It's gonna show up on your keyboard. And it is very useful. You can assign two emoji and shortcut key at the same time. Previously, I have also used status weather. It is a pet version. But for this one, it is a live version where you can have status weather. And you can see on the left here, I have temperature and we have moon on the left here as well. And it is a free version of status weather. You can try it out, just install it. And then you're gonna see it appear on your left status bar. And there is no configure in setting for this free version. Move on to CC Square. It allows you to change all of the button and all of the module on your control center into square. You can enable from here. So make sure you enable all of them. And then you can scroll all the way down and respring your device to take effect. Now let's take a look on my control center. And you can see here all of the button and all of the modules has been changed to square. And you can take a look from here. So it is look very cool. You may already have seen the tweaks. So it is a tweak that gonna add the percentage into battery icon, especially on the iPhone 8. And you can see here on the top right status bar, we have the percentage inside of the battery icon. And for the tweak, it is called modern battery. You can try it out. Next one here, we have the tweak that does just like iOS 14, especially on message where you can pin the message into the top and you can see your favorite person and you can message and call them faster. So you can go to message here. For example, I can just pin my favorite message. I can swipe to the left like that and then I can click on pin. It's gonna pin that person to the top and I can pin as many as I want. So I can just swipe like that. And if you want to remove, just click on the three dot on the right here and then go to pin. And then it gonna allow you to remove the person that you have just add. You can just click on the minus button right here. Usually when you are using iMessage, it gonna save the message or the photo directly into your camera roll. And sometimes you don't want to do that and you want to prevent it from saving your photo into your camera roll. While you are using iMessage, you can install it tweak to prevent it. So you can search for don't save message or photos and then just install it. There is no configure in settings, but it's gonna prevent iMessage from saving photo or the video into your camera roll. It is very simple. Auto touch unlock that support on Touch ID devices. So if you have your Touch ID device, you can try it out. So it is a tweak that allow you to unlock into your home screen. After your Touch ID has been confirmed, it's gonna unlock automatically into your home screen. And you can try it out on your Touch ID device. And unfortunately, I don't have Touch ID device, so I cannot demonstrate you right now, but you can try and test it yourself. These are some of the options that are available in setting here for auto touch unlock. Now move on to Finicon for the simple tweak. It lets you disable the music player. So usually when you play the music from your music app, 
And even though you pause your music, it's still available on your lock screen and sometimes it feels very interrupted. So you can just use the tweak to disable the music player when you stop your music. So it can close automatically when you pause your music, it gonna close it from your lock screen. And also you have some gesture that you can disable the music player from your lock screen when you stop your music. So you can swipe to the left, swipe to the right, or you can uh, swipe up or down. So there are some gesture available here. Select your favorite one. And now you can also experience it on your Apple Music, just like Spotify. So you can go to music here. Then you can see crossfade feature available on the top here. So you just enable it. It's gonna do the same way just like Spotify. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. And then I will catch you guys in the next one.